I saw, was out working in the garden and I saw a swarm of bees in the air and told my wife and we found that they were landing in this palm tree. I asked my neighbor if I can capture them and she said yes. I'm very excited. Uh, my bees, as you know, I've already uh, split them and add additional space in there. So I don't know where these bees came from because mine did not swarm. But it's an exciting day for any beekeeper to be able to catch a swarm of bees. So this is what I have with me. I got my ladder set up. I've got a five gallon bucket. Inside the bucket I have two sponges full of water and I've got a spray bottle with sugar water in it. I'm simply going to use my brush Spray down the bees, brush them into the bucket, and close the lid. Then I'll move them to another location. Okay, I'm up here with the high viz. I've got my sugar water bottle, and now I'm going to start just spraying them with sugar water so they're not going to fly away. And I have to get my camera out of the way so I don't get sugar water on it. But my neighbor didn't even know she had any, had this swarm in the backyard. And that's pretty typical of swarms. They'll just come, hang out for a bit, and then they will fly away to wherever they're going. They're not here to bother anybody. Matter of fact, during swarming is when you probably have the least problem with bees. So this is an exciting day. Okay, they're dripping wet. I'm just going to put them in the bucket. So this is the branch you were just looking at. And all the bees are gone and they're in the bucket, right down there. So all I used was the uh, bee brush and the sugar water, and they're perfectly fine. Now because I sprayed this with sugar water, I'm just gonna spray this off with a garden hose so it's nice and clean. But that's it. So this is my first swarm capture of the year. Very excited. And somebody will benefit from getting these bees without having to buy them. There's so much of an interest in bees this year that all the local bee suppliers have run out of bees. So I'll uh, let my friends know and someone will get a nice start on their honeybee colony this year. I set the bucket over here. It's near to the tree where I was just uh, cleaning off. I just sprayed it off with the garden hose. And I set the bucket over here because the queen does release a pheromone and so any stray bees that I didn't happen to get into the bucket will fly over here. And you can see them right here on this lip. They've flown over here because they can smell the pheromone inside there. So I'll head back home. Looks like I've got 99% of them. I see maybe one or two still flying around. So I'll spray these bees down and put them inside the bucket, put the lid on, and take them to the new home. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if you are prepared, you shall not fear. And if you're lucky enough to spot a swarm of bees in your backyard, call a local beekeeper because we love coming and getting them. Totally awesome.